Hey y'all, so I am multitasking, but it is motivation on Monday. Woo woo! So I'm trying to take a quick, quick break. Um, this is a long day. I've been in meetings all day. Um, but really quick, I'm very excited about this week's scripture. Um, one of the things that we are going to do is start exploring Psalms. Um, the Lord put that on my heart because I believe as we're getting a foundation in God's word and we are um, framing our world through the word of God, I believe it's so important to the Lord was just dealing with me yesterday on just how powerful praise is and worship and I think about David I've just really been drawing I you know really liking to research David a little bit and so um, we're gonna add to motivation on Monday at Psalms but I just wanted to start at the beginning Psalms 1 and so I thought this particular verse was so um, just it, I feel like it kind of defines what motivational Monday is. It's not our anchor scripture, but it's close to it. And so first, let me say this. If you are new and you're watching me and you're like, what is motivational Monday? Motivational Monday is something the Lord gave me that is basically us um, building a foundation in the word of God is motivating and getting our week started the right way through God's word. We don't know what will hold our week, what will come up in our week, but no matter what, not only our week or life brings, if our hope and our trust and we are anchored in the word of God, um, listen, we're going to be okay. It's funny. I was looking at my little Alexanic bracelet and I have one that's an anchor. And literally that's what I thought about was the um, word of God. It actually has some, a really special meaning, meaning, but um, that's what I use it for. Believe it or not, is my anchor to remind me to stay anchored in God's word side street, but it's true. And so if you're new, that's what Motivational Monday is all about. It is about um, building a, a solid foundation in God's word, learning about this God that we're saying pray to and talk to all the time. And I'm telling you, everything that you could ever deal with in the word of God, I mean, in your life, it is in the word of God. If you want to know how to handle your money, how to raise your children, what to do when your heart is overwhelmed, when you feel lonely, when you've been abused, when you've been hurt. Yet anything that you could want to deal with, the word covers it. But it's our responsibility to dig into this word. And so it was something God gave me to just encourage each other. Because here's the thing. We're all at different walks in our life. We're not all at the same walk. But that's okay. Um, it's about together. I'm giving a scripture and I pray about our scripture. But it's about you saying, God, this is what literally she, you know, you laid on her heart. Now you show me what this scripture means for my life. Some scriptures you might have heard, some you might not, but it's meditating and getting in God's word. It's not just memorizing scripture, but that's important. Another reason um, I started Motivation on Monday was because I am a mom. I am a wife. I am a business owner. I still work a full-time job. I don't sleep. Um, but seriously, I have a lot on my plate. And so whereas I have my unique times that I get in the presence of the Lord and I'm seeking God's face. But the reality is, like you see me standing outside in Ponte Vedra right now. Yeah. Um, outside of a meeting. Y'all, I'm always on the go. And so that's my life right now. And it's okay. God knows. And so one of the things that I want to be through Motivation on Monday is an example. Maybe you are a mom with a child or a couple of children or a stay-at-home mom or whatever your situation is and God has told you something to do. I want to motivate you to not only get in his word, but to know that you can do it. Do it the way, the unique way that he gives you to do it. Um, a lot of times I come from my video and it's a joke, but it's true. And I say car ministry. <laughs> Because I'm always on the go and I have like a little nice, um, you know, my little version studio that I could record. But y'all, I'm rarely, by the time I would get there, it would be like 2 a.m. And sometimes I'm so beat. And then when the Lord downloads, I want to give it to you. And so the reality is this is where my life is and it's okay, you know. And so it's just um, encouraging each other to just go after what God has told you to do in the unique way he's told you to do it right where you are. And just knowing that as you're faithful over little things, he'll open up doors. And so that's what Motivational Monday is. But another unique thing I want to tell you about Motivational Monday, like I said, it's 
meditating on the word of God, really just allowing, giving yourself some time in where you can just say, God, reveal this scripture. But I'm going to tell you, another thing that I do is I want to show you, I put, um, my scriptures i have them on my ipad i have some on our door um i used to put them on our bathroom mirror anywhere that i frequent i have five places i have them at my desk and so it's another way that i'm constantly looking at the word but this is the other thing that i do um i keep this in my purse i don't know if y'all can see this and it is like just scriptures it is some of my favorite scriptures and so y'all when i'm at a doctor's office when i'm just sitting at my job sometimes even when i walk into the copier i'll snipe it out um I, like i have everything on here ephesians 3 and 12 in whom we have boldness and confident access through faith in him that is our faith gives us sufficient courage to freely and open and approach um, openly approach God through Christ. Romans 5, 3 through 4, New Living Translation. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that He helps us, He helped us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. Y'all, it's some of my favorite scriptures, and I'm constantly reading them and memorizing them. Um, because this is how I get the word of God in me. Psalms uh, 4 and 4. Don't sin by letting anger control you. Think about it overnight and remain silent. Offer sacrifices in the right spirit and trust the Lord. And so these are some of my favorite scriptures. But I'm constantly looking at them to memorize them. Because I want the word of God to be what's in me. What we put in us is what's going to come out. And so I hope that encourage you. As, you know, maybe some moms, wives, whatever. Just whatever God gives you is getting that word in, not allowing, if you're expecting to just sit and, you know, have four hours to just bask in the presence of God. I have those times, not four hours, but for the most part, then I wouldn't get in the word, but it's letting the devil know, no, I'm going to be motivated. I'm going to get in the word. I'm going to have a strong foundation and I'm going to use the unique ways God has given me. So let's jump right on in. Um, so our motivational scripture is Psalms 1. New Living Translation, and then I'm going to read it in Amplified, and it says, and I want to read the first verse. Our our um, verse is coming from two and three, but I think the first verse is important, and I want to read it in Amplified, and it says, blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and favored by God is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, meaning following their advice and example, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit down to rest in the seat of scoffers, ridiculers, ridiculers, sorry. And I think this is very important because I, I spoke about this the other week and I um, mentioned to you all how the Lord had just been dealing with me that it's time for the righteous to be the righteous. Because here's the thing, believers to be believers, because there's so many people out here who need to know the Lord. And so I believe we have to even be careful what we're laughing at. What is not to say, oh, well, you ain't saved. I can't deal with you. No, that's not that's not the love of God, um, because who better? How are you going to win them? There's a wisdom, but it's also being mindful. You know, no, I'm not going to the club with you. No, I'm not, you know, going to sit in an atmosphere where you saying every, you know, disrespectful word and, you know, and sexual pervert. I'm just saying I take the presence of God that's in me serious. And so it matters the audiences that I encounter. It matters where I go. It matters where I take the presence of God. And I want if, if somebody say, well, I'm not giving her that invitation thank you. You know, that's an honor because I want somebody to know that I'm different. I want somebody to know that, no, that's not what I associate with. And so it's being okay with that, being okay that I'm set aside for a different purpose for, you know, God has his hand on me. And so I'm not going to be in every, it doesn't mean that I can't be kind, that I can't, you know, love. I have so many great people that God has brought in my life and I've been able to plant a seed, you know? And so, but I, I think the scripture 
is so important because it reminds us that blessed, which means fortunate, prosperous, and favored by God, is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. But you are you are looking at the advice that's in this word. You're not going to the world for your advice and your example. Now is where we are. And I believe this is so important. Verse 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law, his precepts and teachings, he habitually, I talked about that yesterday, meditates day and night. I think about Joshua y'all day and night and so if you say why motivation on monday is important this is why y'all this is why because we get strengthened the more we know the word the more we're anchored in the word the more we know our god the more when situations come up yes some of them can be some some knock you over but y'all even when those tears are falling we can stand firm and say but the word of god says but the word you might have a lot of tears but you can wipe them and stand confidently in the word of God. And so I love this because it says his delight is in the law of the Lord and he habitually, and I talked about this yesterday when I was talking about walking with God, it said it about Enoch and Noah, he habitually, which means he continuously, he stayed in the word, he walked to walk with God. You got to continually get, know him you're getting in this word because this is how you're going to know him. He said he put his word above his name. So you want to know him digging this word. So you know what, what does not honor him and what pleases him? Because I don't know about you, but that's what I want. I want to please God. But then verse three says, and he will be like a tree firmly planted and fed by streams of water which yields its fruit in its season its leaf does not wither and in whatever he does he prospers and comes to maturity y'all that ought to be enough to say let me get in this word here is the thing of how beautiful this is it said literally what in its season you're going to yield fruit its leaf does not wither. And I literally had a vision of, if you think about a tree, like by those trees that's by the water, their roots, they spread all out. They all out. You ain't, you gonna need the, a tree person to, to get that tree out. But that's the type of tree that it said, when we are in this word and we're delighting in the law, God's word, and his word is in us, and we are habitually, we are continually in the morning, in the night. That's what my little car are y'all getting this word in us he said you're gonna be planted and no matter what season y'all seasons change the, the seasons that we're in is not always you know oh the blessings of God are flowing those are you're gonna always be blessed but there's some seasons that you don't feel like it I'm just being honest that you feel like God are you here and he said yeah but he said even in those seasons your leaves will not wither y'all he said you will be like a tree firmly planted and fed by the water and I believe the water is his spirit it's the spirit that comes from the word life is in his word and so when you're going through things i think about um and the reason i want us to start in psalms because i think about something david said he said i will make a boast in my lord he he talked about there's a praise that's going to be continually on my mouth he said oh magnify the lord with me and let us exalt his name together and so y'all i get excited because this is what the word because when you're feeling some some type of way Listen, we're human. We're not Jesus. But then this word kicks in. And I think about even yesterday, I was just in a place where I said, God, I'm confused. I'm just being honest. I said, Lord, I'm trusting you. I was saying I, that word was I was coming out. But I was telling God, I said, but I also feel like this. But y'all, let me tell you something. At 10 at night, I began to get like David. And I said, I'm going to I'm going to have a praise continually in my mouth. The enemy want me to sit here. No, I'm fixing to I'm fixing to shake some things up. And so that's what this word does. It propels us. It brings life. It feeds us. It's like those streams that that tree, we get stronger and stronger. And so before you know, when things come, your reaction is not the same. Those who delight in his word. And so that's where we're going. That's the amplified version. I want to encourage you to read it in the new living translation. But that's where we're going, y'all. And I want to leave you one cross reference scripture. 
and that's Psalm 62 and it says oh my people trust in him at all times pour out your heart to him for God is our refuge and you know where that's going prayer y'all it works together we have to pray this word you got to know the word so you can pray but let's begin to pour out our heart to him trust in him and you can do that when you know this word so let's get motivated I'm already starting my Monday off. Listen, is everything perfect in my life? Nope. Do I have some things that I'm waiting on? Yes, but I choose to wait with a smile. I choose to make my boast in the Lord. I choose to be anchored in this word and trust him. So let's get motivated, y'all. Talk to you midweek. Ooh, motivation of Monday. Bye.